It was game one where Kyrie Leonard um, matched his career high in points at playoffs with 32 points. And we saw the San Antonio Spurs just, especially in the second half of the, of the game, just totally decimate the Memphis Grizzlies. And the first half of game two was more of the same. Um, the Grizzlies were down by as much as 26 points, and at halftime they were down 19 points. And it looked like it was going to be another typical 25 to 30 point Spurs victory. But the Grizzlies made some adjustments. Uh, into the starting lineup, they inserted former All Star Zach Randolph and uh, James Ennis, and this caused the Spurs some problems. And um, they were able to get back into the game, but. MVP candidate Kyle Leonard took over the ball game and ended things with a vicious dunk over various defenders to cap things off. <laughs> and the Spurs were the Spurs, and they won by a final score of 96-82 to take a two-games-to-none series lead over the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, like I said, Kyle Leonard had a playoff career high 37 points. He was a perfect 19 of 19 from the foul line. Only two other players have made that many free throws out of missing the playoffs. Uh, those being Paul Pierce and Dirk Nowitzki. I do remember a game where Reggie Miller went 17 and 17 from the stripe. And I think I remember a game years ago where Kobe went 17 and 17, I think. Um, but they didn't make 19 of 19. Um... Once again, Tony Parker had a good game. 15 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist. Pau Gasol chipped in with 10. LaMarcus Aldridge had 11 points and 4 rebounds. For the Grizzlies, Vince Carter had 12 points. Marcus Gasol, 12 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Michael Conley, 24 points, 1 rebound, 8 assists. Zach Randolph, uh, big for the club in the second half, especially 18 points, 10 rebounds. And James Ennis with... 20, uh, excuse me, seven points, eight rebounds, and two assists. Um, another thing of note in this game was the Memphis Grizzlies, and especially uh, the Memphis head coach, David Fitzgerald, contention that the officiating in this game was extremely biased toward the San Antonio Spurs. Now, this isn't me injecting my bias into this game to this game, okay? This is what they're saying. Okay, you be the judge of it. They feel that there was a disparity in free throw shooting. I think as a team, the Memphis Grizzlies only shot 16 free throws, while Leonard by himself shot 19. I think as a team, they shot 30-something, 32, 33, or something like that. Despite the fact that Memphis scored a lot of their points in the paint, I mean, there'd be more contact, but they weren't getting calls. Uh, they feel like Marc Gasol wasn't getting calls. Guys like Vince Carter weren't getting calls. But yet, the Spurs are getting these calls. They think it contributed to the win. And they think if the fear shading was more fair, they may have snuck away with a victory. I don't know. You guys be a judge of that, okay? I'm trying to be more fair. When I do a Golden State, I'm not going to inject my bias in this game, in that game, so... You know, trying to be fair. So, you guys tell me what you think. Do you think that the officiating was poor in this game? Do you think there was a bias? I mean, I can see it. Uh, if you want me to give my opinion, I think that they have a point. I think that there was some bias in the officiating this game. Well, tell me what you guys think.